So I am hesitant to call this Vlogmas Day 1, but technically it is Vlogmas Day 1. I am filming this on Monday, November 30th, so you're gonna see it tomorrow, which is Tuesday, December 1st. And I'm so super excited to do Vlogmas again this year. And hopefully we can make it fun and entertaining for you and just downright cozy and lovely and all the good things and all the good feels. Lots of things to get out of the way. I got a package in the mail and I know what it is because I paid for it. But I'm very excited to unbox this um, on camera for you guys because it is a lovely, lovely uh, thing that was made by my friend, my good friend, um, Tammy. We went to uni together. Shout out U of T, <laughs> class of 2013. And, um, and now we're also both teachers, but she also does a lot of cool stuff on the side. She does art. Um, she makes things. She's like one of those like super creative types. And so she just launched a candle company and I really wanted to support her. I will link her down below as well if you guys want to go ahead and support her. Now is a really good time to support small businesses. They're just not doing as well as they used to because of the pandemic. So I really wanted to show my support. So I definitely went ahead and paid full price for a candle. Hand poured with love in Toronto and I love that she takes the time to write on all of these, which I think is so, so, so amazing. Um, so she talks about the candle here and the notes for use. And then on this side, she talks about the gem that she put inside it. So I think there's celestite in this one and it is a gentle uplifting stone that helps you connect to your guardian angels. You can cleanse the energy. I am so proud of you, girl. This is so beautiful. Oh my God, look at that. These will make such great gifts, guys. I'm not even kidding you. And she's also having free shipping on all orders right now. So I will link her Etsy shop down below. You guys don't even know how I have you set up right now just so I can get the shop. But if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see it because I posted it on my stories. Although you might miss it by the time this video goes up, but I'll try to get it up for you by tonight. For some reason lately, I haven't been as hungry which is saying something because I'm usually always hungry, um, but I haven't been as hungry, so I'm just gonna make myself a cup of coffee and then um, I'm gonna just get to tidying up. I have to tidy up the kitchen. I have to make Lade's bed. I have like some furniture upstairs that I need to take down to our basement and it's gonna be a bit of a pain to do it because I need to clean them out first. So I have all of that to do and I am currently doing like a half online, half in school situation. So I'm currently teaching online and will be teaching online until the 7th. But my online class is an afternoon class. I cut out at around 1, 1 o'clock so I can teach my class and I teach that from 1 to like 2, 1.15 to 2.25 or like 1.10 to 2.25 kind of situation. So that's all I have to do today. Let's go get some coffee and let's go light this up. has been watered. I apologize, I probably have like pine noodles on my face. But the tree has been watered, so that's really exciting. Coffee just finished up, which is also very exciting. And on top of that, to talk about a couple of things, um, whew, I'm out of breath now from like bending up and getting out, bending down and getting out, bending up and getting down, wow. So our coffee table, our coffee table is coming today. It is a tad bigger than the coffee table that we initially wanted, but this one was on sale and it was actually more expensive than the other one still, but we really liked this one as well and we thought it would work really well for the space. So it's coming today. I don't know what time. 
but hopefully they'll just like pop it in and drop it where it needs to go because it's super super heavy it has um, solid brass legs and then a marble top so it's super heavy um, but I'm very excited because it is basically the final piece of our living room puzzle um, so this is our living room right now so we have lots of new things um, so we have a new mirror oh you haven't seen the wall either so I decided like practically overnight that I wanted to do something to this wall and so I decided I was going to do a panel and then paint it a super super dark color. I was actually going to paint it white like a soft white but I feel like the green is just so much more dramatic and it really brings the space together so nicely so I'm very very happy with it. I have my lovely lovely mirror. This one is from CB2 and we got this at the Crate and Barrel warehouse sale. I'm not entirely sure what was wrong with it but it I got it 40% off and what's funny is the day before I actually purchased this mirror online full price and I was gonna get it and it was gonna get delivered and I was totally fine with paying the $1,100 plus taxes and shipping for it. But then when we found it at the warehouse sale, it almost felt like a happy accident. And we were just like, you know what? This is coming home with us. I don't care if I get nothing else. I'm getting this mirror. And I'm so happy I did because this is exactly what the space needed. And if you guys are following me on Instagram, I kind of drew out my idea of what I wanted this space to look like. And it has superseded my entire vision so absolutely loving it this mirror is very big it's very heavy it stands four feet wide by uh six feet tall so it's really big but it also is amazing for selfies don't mind me I'm wearing my old ugg slippers and some warm socks I have my Banana Republic um, jeans on and then I'm wearing my class of 2013 sweatshirt from my uni days. I've talked about all of this in previous videos. I'm just going to walk you through it again. This is our Samsung frame TV. It is the 75 inch. I recently bought this new bezel for it. So it comes with a standard black frame, but I wanted something that popped against the dark green wall and so i went for the beige bezel and i really really love it it was on sale for black friday and so i took advantage of that and i purchased it and i think it looks really good and then we have some art up there and what's really good about the frame tv is that it's art when it's off so it gives you access to hundreds of um of museums all over the world that have thousands of artwork and basically you get the authentic digital rendition of that piece of art that they have in their museums. And so you got some Van Gogh on here, you have some Monet, like lots of really cool pieces of art. And I can't remember which one this is, but if you're interested, I'll link it down below. But I really, really love this one. Um, it's called Roses, but I just can't remember the name of the artist. Christmas tree is here. Hina picked this up from Cudmore's yesterday. I also talk about the tree color, which is from Crate and Barrel. I think this rug is from HomeSense. We have our couch and a uh, side table is from West Elm and flowers and all that good stuff. And then the fireplace we did got out the decorations. I've had this for a while. I, if you guys are with me, I think I bought this in my first or second Vlogmas still works and it looks beautiful on our fireplace so that's there let me know what color you drink your coffee at this is mine just a splash of milk to give it a little bit of color i just want color that's all i want for my coffee living room is looking good i'm gonna turn down the lights in here a little bit so you can see kind of like the mood that we set, turned off the kitchen light. I'm gonna turn off this one too. So this is when you kind of dim the lights and it's just super nice and cozy. And it is truly my favorite room in the house. Come to think of it, I feel like I kind of want to just take a quick 
photo right now so i'm gonna get to cleaning i'm just gonna go upstairs i'm gonna start from the top down so i gotta go upstairs make late's bed make my bed and then um come down and take care of the kitchen and clean up a little bit and kind of zhuzh up the place a little bit and start getting the ornaments and the hooks for the ornaments ready for the tree i need to clean up the, the needles around the tree it's just gonna be a cleaning kind of day until i have to teach and then we'll go from there. made his bed tucked all of his sheets in and it's looking good i think just this bit here is bothering me it's our office slash wellness room this room is about to be turned into like a full-on office with like a workout section area like where you can work out um nicely so <clears throat> that's pretty much what i want to do with this space bed is made still a bit of work to do in this room so i can like kind of walk you through a little bit what we got going on in here um so i got my monstera plant there this is our nightstand it actually matches our dresser and these are from cb2 so i will link them down below but if you get really close up to it this is like a full chagrin or faux shark skin type of um, kind of like material, I guess. It feels like leather, but it's not, but it's faux. And it's really nice, and I thought it added a little bit of texture, subtle texture and subtle character to the room, and I thought they would go really well with our crate and barrel bed. This is the Ava Gray, and it's a king size, and we have um, a Casper Wave, I believe it's called sitting on it like i said i'll link every single thing down below if you guys are interested i'm not super happy with how i made the bed but i made it in a rush so bear with me it's not perfect <laughs> so anyways so we have those and then um the perspective mirrors we've if you guys have been following me from day one then you recognize these we had these at our condo and at first I was gonna get rid of them, I was gonna sell them, but then I was like, ah, I have an idea. And I just thought that they would go really nicely above the bed and it really does. But now I kind of want to paint this wall um, like a super dark color because I feel like the mirrors will just pick up the colors really nicely and it'll make the room look really good. So I actually put these mirrors up myself and they were a bitch to put up by the way. I don't know if you can see the black dots in the wall from where I made mistakes. So that's kind of like our little TV section there. Um, I was just kind of like looking for ways to decorate it and I couldn't really <laughs> come up with anything so I just pulled some random things from around the house like that bust there i got from um kijiji and it was sitting downstairs because it was on our fireplace mantle and because we we're doing christmas decorations i didn't really have a need for it on the mantle anymore and i thought for the holidays it would look really good up here since it doesn't have anywhere else to go i have my pampas over there in an ikea vase i have my dip tea candle and i have a couple coffee t coffee table books and then i have my rubber plant and this piece of art is gonna go downstairs in the basement because the other two are just kind of put up in my bathroom right now. But I didn't have space for three, so I only put two up. I still have that bit out there, but I'm not stressed about it right now. I actually have to go get some work done. So I'm gonna go start getting prepared for this afternoon's class. I actually thought the coffee table was gonna come in the morning, but it's actually coming like later on in the evening. Like it's expected to get here at around 3.05. So still have a few hours to go. I'm gonna actually put some of this footage on my computer so that I can like keep the memory card nice and clear. So I wanted to tell you a bit more about this bed. So this is called the Ava. On the Crate and Barrel website, it's the Ava Gray King Bed. And I'll link it down below. But I really love the color on this. The gray is like super nice. And this is a velvet material. And it's really nice and cozy and I really like how bent, how curved the headboard is. 
um and i also like the sh the channel uh detailing on the back here because i was determined not to get a bed with tufted with a tufted headboards i'm just so sick of those buttons and i could not wait to get rid of the one that we had but what i really love about this bed is that it's the little details so i really like um how this uh frame is because then i can tuck the um the duvet in and it looks really nice and uniform so down here if you want to get into details really the legs are gold and so they match the legs on our nightstands and so i thought that that was a really nice detail and it's something that is so subtle that if you're not looking you'll miss it but it's there and then once you see it it just makes the world of sense I am just currently going to um, head downstairs. Leith has had his bath, so um, we're gonna go start getting prepared to dress the tree. Hina has to trim off a bit off the top. You guys haven't seen Hina yet. I pulled these guys out. Um, Hina's sister got them for us because she overheard me on one of my Instagram stories talking about how I need to kind of like retire my old busted up um uggs <laughs> and so she got us new ones she got a pair for me and one for hina so i'm bringing them down today because hina's been complaining about how cold it is and did you forget we had these okay so i'm gonna prop you guys up on one box so i can show you what's in the other one so this one's mine i wear a size nine by the way thank you so much annie for these these are so nice um so she got me these ones. These are the scuffettes, and I really like them because they're super lightweight. I think the one I have right now are called the coquettes or something. They're the ones with the thicker sole. But these ones are just super lightweight, and they're just so nice and cozy. Look, so cute. So I have this pair, and then um, I will show you what Hina's pair looks like. This is super nice. Look at that. Ooh. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. Have you seen yours? They're blocked. Oh. Way to bury the lead, Hina. Mm -hmm. And so now mm -hmm. I'm of the mind that I'm probably just going to keep both of these. No. <laughs> I think I'm going to keep them both. Because yours is super nice. No. Uh -oh, I'll show you hers. Hers is the black and gray. The so nice, so classic. And this is very Hina. This is definitely something Hina would wear. <laughs> Especially the color scheme. So I really like these. Thank you so much, Annie. These are so super cute. Um, very timely too for uh, for the December winter season. These are super nice and cozy. Hi, babe. Hi. Happy Vlogmas. What are you doing? Eating dinner? So we recently switched to keto, and so we've been doing meal plans for the past. I don't know how long and I think we're about at our limit where we're just kind of sick of the food <laughs> right babe plus I also think it's time for us to start making our own food I haven't cooked in a very long time and I'm concerned I don't know too much anymore like I cook small meals for late and it's really hard to cook a meal for one like a small child <laughs> so at least when we were all cooking and eating I could modify uh, what we were eating and make additions to it for late's portion of the meal but now I'm basically just cooking for a tiny person and it's very interesting it's very strange, very strange. but that being said I have enjoyed being on keto I've done it before I've always enjoyed being on keto um, and so far I've lost 11 pounds but it seems like I've been kind of sitting at that weight loss for about a week or two weeks now and I don't know what's happening but I haven't lost any weight in two weeks um, but I guess I could chalk it up to poor eating habits for the past two weeks as well. I have still been eating keto, but it's not the same schedule or anything like I used to. I've been skipping meals um, or eating like my keto meals like really late at night. So I'm trying to get back onto like eating earlier again and just eating properly in general. So I've been doing that. Okay, Baba, you made a mess here. I need you to clean it up. Can you do that for me? Oh, nice. They're cute, right? They look so much cuter than my old ones. <laughs> Don't say that, Lace. So we are going to 
get started on the tree. I just need Hina to do a couple things for me. <coughs> if you don't want to do it, can you get me the tools to do it? I need something I can use to snip off the top I'm of that. Do it. I'm gonna do it. Okay, the ladder is right there so you can do it. So that's the top of our tree. I'm gonna get Hina to just cut, kind of like cut that in half so that way the tree topper can go on it and it won't touch the ceiling. But we need to make sure that we do enough of it so that it's not bending Look, or anything like that. It. But the tree has dropped and she is looking gorgeous. I have the fireplace going and I had to move the stockings out of the way. And I have my poinsettia right there. And then these are the lights we're gonna use on the tree. I really hope this is enough. Snap your fingers, Lee. You want to listen to some Beyonce? Yeah. We're going to play some holiday music and we're going to get started on the tree. I think that's the plan. Right, Lee? Yeah. Let me see you. Look at Mama. Say cheese. Cheese. <laughs> One more thing, guys, I forgot to tell you. Our coffee table made it. And here she is in all her glory. She is absolutely stunning. She's beautiful. She is as heavy as they come. So, so super heavy, like, oh, can't even move it. So, good thing about this is that we got this coffee table 75 or 80% off because it has this kind of stain right here, but it looks like it's caked into the marble. We got it at the Crate and Barrel Warehouse sale along with that mirror over there, and so such a good deal. And I will link it down below. This is from CB2. And in case you guys don't know, Crit and Barrel and CB2 are kind of like sister companies. So um, a lot of their stuff overlap. And this is really cool. Oh, let's see these new glasses. Wow, you look so handsome. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Just want to show you guys Lates PJ set. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. What are you doing? <laughs> What are you doing? What time is it? What time is it? Can you tell us what time it is? Yeah, it's, it's 8 and it says to start on the clock on there. Yeah, but what time is it on your clock right now? It starts for Like this. Like this. What time is it? I don't know what time it is. I think it's on the timer. Oh, what time is it? Look now. What time is it? It's 84. 84? Wow. What time is it? 7.39 on the clock. It's not, it's 84, stop it. This is actually from Old Navy, but it's so cute. Hina picked this one out. And then his shark slippers are also from Old Navy. And they look so cute on him. It's my turn. Oh God. Almost, almost. Try again, try again, try again. Oh wait, no, he had it wrong the first time. Here we go. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Is this good? <laughs> Liv, can you say wagwan? Wagwan. Say a hey, boy. A hey, boy. <laughs> topper we've had this for years and years I can't even remember where she's like all beat down and broke up I think I got her from winners I might end up actually pulling off this part here and just leaving it a nice white simple star but she's really pretty and I don't want to get rid of her I was looking for new ones this year but I wasn't able to find any that I really liked so we'll just keep using this one she's nice I think I might um, I don't know, should I take this off? Should I take these off? What do you think, Hina? <coughs> should I take these off? I feel like no, we'll just leave without it. it. No? Just yeah, take it. Okay. Pie coat for you. Look at pie coats. Guys, I'm getting so pie nervous. Who had pine cones? Lathe has pine cones. Look, he lined up all. The little ornaments you found. Okay. Uh -huh. We are going to just leave her there. <laughs> Don't take her back down. She is good. Thank what you, babe. Huh? What does the star mean? 
star is the star that the three wise men used to find Jesus on the night he was born. That's what the tree topper star means. Okay, let's start getting her dressed. Open it like this and then hang it on like that. Put it on. Yeah. And yeah, put it on further in, inside more. Like that. Not this, look at this. Good job, Lay. There you go. Good job. Do you remember where we you got these? Them all. You made me. No, no, no. You can't have William these. William Sonoma? Ones. No, William Ashley. Whatever, same thing. They're not. What's the difference? You know, oh, William Sonoma is William Sonoma and William Ashley is William Ashley. I have hooks somewhere, so I'm going to get started on those. So I'll probably only be you able to do maybe down? like half of the tree today. I don't have any rhyme or reason for hanging ornaments. I just do what looks good. So I'm really sorry, guys. I don't have any tips for you. The only tip that I could give that I got from somebody else is to put some ornaments deep into the tree as well as that helps to give it a little bit of dimension. And it doesn't look so one dimensional when you have all of your ornaments just kind of like hanging out on the edge of your, of your tree. But if you put them on the inside, it helps to create layers, which is really nice. And I think it's a really good look. So you can do the same thing with your lights too. You can do in and out, in and out, just to give it a little bit of dimension and give it some layers. So that's what I did. This tree is very intimidating. I'm not even kidding you. These are the hooks that we have. We got the we got two boxes of the mini hooks of 20 from, um, from Crate and Barrel. I am worried though that these might not be big enough. So I might have to order the larger sized hooks for for these ornaments because some of them are really heavy. We're just gonna do a couple more and then I'm gonna send Leith off to bed. And then Hina has a phone call. So you have a phone call now. It's 8.02. Um, so Leith has to go to bed anyways. I think we're gonna end the vlog here. There's just way too much chaos right now and it's really hard to do this with Leith because he's getting like really um, kind of like hyper and it's making me very, very anxious. And so I think he needs to get a book and bed. Ami needs to go take her call and then once she's done her call, we're gonna come back down and put up some more ornaments. We won't be able to put up everything because we only have 40 of these and we need like 80 more. So I thought I bought three of these. You bought two. And we need a lot more, so we're gonna do just a couple more and then we're gonna put that guy to bed. It's been a really good day. I'm super excited. Tomorrow's gonna be Tuesday, December 1st, and it's gonna be the official first day of Vlogmas. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. They're not ready yet, Baba. They're not ready yet. They're not ready yet. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We'll see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day. Okay, Babas, under the covers, please. The very... Hungry cat, Very good. Like you pop and the bug candy. Uh-huh. In the light of the moon, a little egg. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a very tiny and very hungry caterpillar. Now he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself, and he stayed inside for more than two weeks. 
and he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and he was a beautiful butterfly. butterfly. The end.